Hi, and welcome back to the Latex Modified Concrete Working Group's video series on high performance latex modified concrete. I'm Pat Martins with Bridge Preservation and Inspection Services, serving as your host. Regardless of if you are joining us via YouTube or Facebook, I thank you for watching. This week we are going to talk about how latex affects concrete quality. In order to understand what helps latex work to modify concrete, it is important to know how it works. In simple terms, what latex does is act as a water reducer. What that means is it helps to produce concrete using less water while at the same time maintaining the material's workability for placing and finishing purposes. When you normally reduce the amount of water in concrete, the result is a stiffer mix. That can lead to more problems during the placement. But by using a modifier to reduce the amount of water needed, it allows us to maintain the workability of the concrete while not sacrificing the other benefits that reducing water gives the mix. So what are some of those other benefits? Well, first and most obvious is we are lowering the water-cement ratio. That is significant because good things happen when we reduce the water-cement ratio in concrete. It improves the quality of the concrete by giving it a higher strength, and that is especially what we are looking for with regard to the flexural strength with a latex modified concrete. That better quality concrete also means higher density, which translates to less porosity. This in turn means better permeability resistance characteristics. That improved quality of the concrete also means a better paste quality. This helps especially at the surface to provide better durability and resistance to weathering of the mix. And then the higher quality paste helps improve the bond between not only the HPLMC and the deck substrate is being applied to, but also between the HPLMC and the reinforcing steel that may be present within the pore. The other good thing that water reducing properties of latex modified concrete gives is a reduction in volume change of the mix between the wetting and drying periods. Generally, concrete only requires a water cement ratio of about 0.25 to 0.28 in order to complete the hydration process. The excess water within a concrete mix is just there to aid in the placement of the concrete and the corresponding finishing. Any excess water that remains in the mix contributes to the drying shrinkage. So the less extra water, the better, as the potential for drying shrinkage is then reduced. While a conventional concrete mix with type 1 cement may specify a water cement ratio, say in the range of 0.45 to 0.5, HPLMC will often be in the 0.38 to 0.39 range as most state specs limit the water cement ratio of HPLMC to a maximum of 0.4. And that will wrap up our session for today. Next week, we'll look at another exciting topic related to latex modified concrete. We're going to start to move into installation and we'll tackle the topic of factors affecting the bond and performance of HPLMC. I hope you'll be able to check that out with us. If you're watching on YouTube, I'd invite you to subscribe if you have not already done so. Or you can find us out on the Latex Modified Concrete Working Group Facebook page. Just search for Latex Modified Concrete WG. If you have a question for our working group regarding Latex Modified Concrete, feel free to drop us a line at lmcwg at bridgepreservation.net. We look forward to hearing from you, and we will get back to you with an answer to your question. Hey, let's continue to extend the life of our bridge decks by protecting them with HPLMC overlays. See you next time.